It is possible that you may be able to reduce your creatinine levels and improve the health of your kidneys if you refrain from using some supplements, drugs, and other substances, specifically cigarettes. Creatinine is a waste product that is produced whenever your muscles are used through physical activity. Consuming a large quantity of protein may also result in the production of trace amounts of this chemical agent. In the event that your blood creatinine level is elevated, it is essential to collaborate with your healthcare provider in order to devise a treatment strategy that specifically targets any medical conditions that may be affecting the functioning of your kidneys. Talk to your healthcare provider about whether or not the following modifications to your lifestyle are acceptable for you, in addition to the medications and other therapies you are currently receiving. Why is creatinine so important? When creatinine reaches your kidneys, it is transported by your bloodstream. The kidneys then filter the creatinine through the urine. Nevertheless, if your kidneys aren't functioning as they should, the amount of creatinine that is present in your blood can increase. In order to determine the state of your kidneys, your healthcare provider may do tests on your blood and urine to determine the level of creatinine, in addition to ordering additional tests. When it comes to age, race, gender, and body size, a typical level is determined. It's possible that kidney disease is present if your creatinine levels are abnormal. If you display any of the following symptoms, you could require a creatinine test. Urinary alterations, such as increased frequency, discomfort, foaminess, or blood in the urine. Cramping in the muscles. Exhaustion. A feeling of sickness or loss of appetite, puffiness around the eyes, and swelling in the feet or ankles. Furthermore, if you have any of the following disorders, which may contribute to impaired kidney function, Your physician may also recommend that you undergo regular creatinine testing by your physician. The conditions of diabetes and high blood pressure. Illness of the thyroid. Conditions that are autoimmune in nature. Bacterial infections of the kidneys. Obstructions in the urinary tract. And a history of kidney disease in the family. It is also possible for creatinine levels to briefly increase as a result of severe exercise or the use of specific medications such as sulfamethoxazole, trimethoprim, or those used in chemotherapy. In addition, becoming pregnant or consuming a diet that is extremely heavy in red meat may be contributing factors. For your body to perform at its best, it is necessary for your blood to be cleaned. Treating the underlying reason is the most effective method for reducing the amount of creatinine in your body. Here is a list of eight natural techniques to reduce the amount of creatinine in your body. 1. Do not consume any dietary supplements that include creatine. A natural chemical that is produced in your liver is called creatine. It then travels to your muscles, where it is utilized for the production of energy. Because creatine is used as a source of energy, it is broken down into creatinine, which is a byproduct of metabolism. It is possible to take creatine in the form of an oral supplement in addition to its natural presentation. In order to improve their athletic performance, several athletes use creatinine-producing substances into their routines. It is not recommended that individuals who want to improve their renal function by lowering their creatinine levels take creatine supplements. There is a dearth of long-term research on patients who have kidney disease, despite the fact that creatine supplementation has been the subject of quite a few studies. Before adding any supplement to your diet, it is important to consult with your physician. 2. Reduce the amount of protein you consume. It has been demonstrated through research that consuming a substantial quantity of protein can temporarily raise the levels of creatinine in the body. The creatinine level can be affected, in instance, by cooked red meat. As a result of the heat generated by cooking, the creatine that is present in beef is converted into creatinine. It is possible that individuals who consume a diet that is extremely high in red meat or other types of protein, including dairy products, have greater levels of creatinine than those who consume a diet that is lower in these foods. If you consume a lot of red meat, you should switch to foods that are more vegetable-based. Try substituting beef burgers with the following. Patty made with vegetables. A substantial stew made with vegetables lentil soup. 3. Up your fiber intake. In order to determine the effects that dietary fiber has on creatinine levels, additional research is required. On the other hand, One study found that individuals with chronic renal disease who increased their fiber consumption experienced significant reductions in their creatinine levels that were measured. The following are some examples of foods that include fiber. Produce, veggies, legumes, and whole grains vegetables. 4. Discuss with your healthcare provider the minimum amount of fluids that you should consume on a daily basis. As a result of dehydration, creatinine levels can rise. 
Consumption of fluids is another potential problem for individuals who are afflicted with renal disease. It is important to discuss with your healthcare provider the amount of water and other fluids that you should consume on a daily basis, as well as the optimal timing to consume these beverages. 5. Reduce your consumption of salt. A high blood pressure condition can be caused by diets that contain an excessive amount of salt. Sodium and phosphorus are two elements that are frequently found in high concentrations in processed meals. When it comes to flavoring your food, you should think about concentrating on whole, unprocessed foods and incorporating spices and herbs whenever possible. 6. NSAIDs should not be used excessively. Painkillers that are available without a prescription, such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications, NSAIDs, have the potential to cause adverse effects if they are taken excessively or in quantities that exceed the authorized dosage, particularly if you have kidney disease. Engage in a conversation with your healthcare provider to ascertain the appropriate medications for pain and inflammation, as well as the frequency with which you should take them. 7. Refrain from smoking. There are a number of ways in which smoking cigarettes can be harmful to the body, one of which is that it dramatically raises the risk of developing chronic kidney disease. Making the decision to quit smoking is one approach to lessen the likelihood of developing renal problems that could lead to an increase in creatinine levels. 8. Limit the amount of alcohol you consume. The consumption of alcohol can be a challenging issue when it comes to the functioning of the kidneys. Consumption of alcohol in moderation may be associated with a reduced risk of developing chronic renal disease. Drinking an excessive amount of alcohol has the potential to induce renal injury. It is also possible for it to lead to illnesses such as high blood pressure and dependence on alcohol for example. A healthcare practitioner should be consulted if you consume alcohol in order to determine the safest levels for your specific health requirements. Like, share, subscribe.